Being on the Transylvania County campus, you know, we do have some issues uh, with ghostly sightings and different um, spooks. Just walking into a classroom with discombobulated skeletons everywhere, it's just kind of a, whoa, what are we doing today? Right, yeah, well, we're getting in the spirit for Halloween. This is just a different take on a regular uh, anatomy and physiology uh, lab that deals with the skeleton. Uh, so after they learn the basic parts of the skeleton, uh, this way they can actually physically put it together. Yeah, I think it's that kind of fits in. Uh, and see the differences between males and females. Like the main reason I feel like it's a guy is because of this. But look how like, even if we had the other one, how narrow, how small it would still be. Because it curves yeah. in so oh, much. Okay. Some people who uh, were maybe older when they died versus younger. This stuff right here, because it's like not fused very well. Oh, yeah. Because the older they get, the more it fuses so together. So less than 23. Uh, also determine the height and different things like that. So 44. 44. I say it's a short, it's a short dude. It seems like it's a it's short guy. A short guy. Most of these students are going to a science program uh, at a four-year school. Uh, so one of the basic things you're going to have to know is general anatomy. When I grow up, I want to be a physical therapist. I want to be a high school biology teacher. We've got a lot of nurses. Hopefully become a vet tech. Just seeing how these ball and socket joints, like the humerus, um, in, in, into the scapula fit together, because it's one thing to learn about it and read and see pictures in a textbook, but um, actually feeling how those fit together just gives you a different perspective. It would have been a lot creepier if they were like real bones. These skeletons <laughs> come from real people, okay? I'm hanging with my buddy Carl here. It'll be a long day.